What's up, turtles? Crick here with Black Owl Outdoors, and today we're going to take a look at the Fjall Raven Rucksack Number no. Twenty One Large. Fjall Raven US sent this pack over to us so we could test, evaluate, and share our opinions with you. This bag is two hundred and twenty-five dollars, and it's thirty liters. But let's get into the features now. Taking a look at the side of the pack now, we have pockets, and this will fit water bottles. This is a 21 ounce hydro flask, but you can squeeze in a 40 ounce or a 32 ounce bottle, but just keep in mind then when you stuff this pocket full, the bottle's protruding on the inside of the pack. And the other side of the pack, it's the same exact setup. Moving on to the back of the pack now, grab handle right here and same G1000. And the shoulder straps are attached to the bag via these two strips of leather and these two rapid rivets. There's only one stitch line that appears holding the shoulder pad to the bag, like I said, via this piece of leather. Now I would have liked to see maybe a little bit more security besides just this rapid river and that one stitch line, but I do trust the designers at Fjall Raven, and I haven't any issues or anything that looked like this is under stress but we'll see, we'll see how it fares. And moving down again, one rapid rivet stitch line holding the bottom of the shoulder pad to this longer piece of leather, which allows you to make your adjustment for your body size. So when you need to adjust this specifically to your body shape or size, we have a roller buckle right here, and then just a metal strap keeper. And I had a really hard time trying to do this when the pack was on the first time I was using it. So I kind of had to kind of make a mark, take the pack off, and then put this where I needed it to. But since I'm talking about this, these leather strips, you can see there's two stitch lines on this leather, and it goes through on the back. I'm not sure exactly why they did that. Maybe it was to have two smooth surface sides on the leather, but my first sort of thought whenever I adjusted this correctly to my body was that I had probably five inches I wanted to cut off. But if I were to cut this leather, then I'd interrupt these stitching lines and I'd have to address then somehow these stitches. I would have liked to seen, honestly, them just to use a thicker piece of leather that way. If I needed it modded, I can do that. And yeah, the pack's $225. That doesn't mean I wouldn't do any modifications to it myself. And these shoulder pads are really nice and comfortable. There is padding in there. You can't see it, but take my word for it. There is some nice padding on there and the straps lay pretty nice across the body. And I'll show that once I get the pack on towards the end. Take a look at the back of the pack now. And keeping in the theme of Fjall Raven's designs and innovations, I really like what I'm gonna talk about next, which is these two padded columns that are running the length of the bag. And they're probably at least a half inch thick. And it just adds some comfort and it gives some structure because normally a pack like this, the traditional original packs like this, they'd be a soft ruck. There would be no structure to the bag. It would just be the material the bag is made out of. But these columns of padding give the pad some, or give the, give the bag some structure. And the entire back of the bag is padding as well. And you can't really see it. Because and I can't show it to you because it's completely sewn into the bag, but the whole back rectangle of the bag is padding as well, which again gives it structure that this pack will basically stand up by itself when it's empty, and it offers more protection from your back because if you're putting metal objects inside the bag or anything goofy shaped, if you don't pack it correctly, that can poke you in the back and make it really uncomfortable to wear it. But because we have this whole sheet of padding on the inside of this bag. It's a really, really, really great feature. You can see on the bottom of the pack, we have this really nice big piece of leather for added durability. And it just, again, keeps in theme with this traditional rucksack design. Because leather is a natural material, it's your responsibility to care for it. And it will require more care than just the G1000 will. But I really like leather because I am a leather worker. And this big piece of leather is actually rolled over, rolled over on itself. 
So we get a really nice clean feel right here and double stitching for durability. Great job. Taking a look at the front of the bag now. We have two little square anchors. There's one down here and one above it. It's just basically a lashing point or an anchor point if you want to strap something to the outside of the bag. I haven't used it because I really don't like things hanging on the outside of my pack, but the option's there. Here we have a really big flap that covers the top load portion of this bag. Two long leather straps, again, the same as on the shoulder pads, being threaded through. Again, these pieces of leather that have two rapid rivets on them. And right now, I just have the strap through the strap keeper. But if you really want to secure this as much as you possibly can, there's a button stud underneath this and there are keyholes cut out into the leather strap. And you can just push that through. It's nice and quiet. But honestly, I don't ever use this. It's just enough to put it through here. There's enough friction to hold this flap down tight. Another little detail I want to show is underneath these rapid rivets, there's a piece of leather just to give it more durability so that in case on the front side this strap gets pulled or anything goofy, there's just more meat on the underside that this rivet isn't going to pull through the G1000. Now, I don't have this bag packed completely full, but what that allows us to see right now is that padding I was talking about on the back. See how the pack's standing up. It's just one of those modern features that Fjall Raven added to this traditional rucksack looking design is why I really like Fjall Raven as a company. And this is a top load bag. So what we have is sort of this flap and then there's just a piece of leather that's just working with friction. And we have grommets through this ripstop material and you just pull that open to get into, into the main compartment. There's a nice small zipper pocket right at the top of this bag. And I'll show you what I have in there. I have my cell phone just for size reference, there's a flashlight sitting in there, a Sharpie fits as well, and I have a fair rod on a little belt keeper. So it's not the biggest pocket, but it is nice for small items that you want to keep organized. So up next is a feature you probably did not expect to come with this bag. It's a freaking seat pad they've included with the pack. And this is probably the same padding they're using on the back of the bag. Again, G1000, heavy duty, same color as the pack. It's a really cool little feature. You can put this down to kneel on, put it on your butt, or sit it under your butt. Your butt will be touching it, I guess, if you sit on it. But it's just a really cool feature that I would not expect to come with come with the bag. So right here where that seat pad rests, if you're not using it, but this uh, pocket will fit a 15 inch laptop. It's really tight, but you can get a 15 inch laptop in the sleeve. Another feature you probably didn't think was included with this pack. There's a water bottle pocket on the inside. You can see my 40 ounces sitting in there right now. And that's really, really nice because it's keeping that water bottle upright in the pack and it's putting it close to my back. So the weight of this water, because water is pretty heavy as things go, it keeps it centered and it keeps it upright. It's a really nice little feature. It really is. I haven't seen any other bag manufacturer put a water bottle pocket in like that. Maybe there are some that have done that, but I haven't seen it. Let's get the bag all put back together and get it on my body. Now I got the pack on. You can see how the shoulder straps are pretty comfortable, how they're laying on my shoulder and my collarbone. You notice that there's no hip belt either, keeping in line with that traditional rucksack. There's no hip belt coming across. But honestly, I never felt like I needed a hip belt on this bag since I've been wearing it hiking and just using it as EDC as well. Pretty much without fail. Every time I do a video on a bag, someone's gonna ask, hey, Crick, 
Can I use this for an overnighter? To give a short answer, it's just 30 liters. In ideal conditions for the most part, yes, you can use this for an overnighter. And every time we do a Fjell Raven video, price always comes up as a talking point, and it should, because all of their products are more expensive than most of us are used to paying. There are a lot of outdoor companies that sell in this price range that Fjell Raven's in, but what I've seen from them and why we continue to use and review their products is that the quality is always there. Their material choice is always on point. The aesthetics, the designs, again, always great. And the features. This is a very classic old school pack, but just the small features like the padding, the water bottle pocket, it just, to me, increases its versatility, its usefulness. I'm not sure well, how I want to say it, but just having those little extra added features that I haven't seen on a classic design is the reason, one of the reasons why I love the Hellog so much. And to me, again, this pack reaffirms why I really like Fjall Raven as a company. Let me know what you think. Do you like this pack? There are probably over 10 different color options available with this uh, number 21 large. And if you agree with my comments about price versus design and what else is on the market in that price range. As always, I'd like to really thank you for watching, the continued support, comments, messages we get to our patrons as well. Thank you for your support. Till the next video, this is Crick with Black Owl Outdoors. Peace out, turtles.